Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Grobbler, and we are in the fifth installment of Albion Online, the Galahad update. So, I wanted to do, this might be a quick, quick and dirty, um, what do you call it, uh, video. What do you call it? Yes, it's a video. Anyway, I've been working, it's been a couple days, I've probably put in about 24 hours total of playing this game since the last time I recorded. So I wanted this update will go over building your guild, if you're creating a guild, and what, how I think you should place your things, your personal island, some farming, um, some breeding, and then how to make some quick and easy gold. Okay, the first thing I'm going to go into is my island. This is my personal island. If we look at the map, we'll see that I have all these here. I believe my island level 3 or level 4. Um, the only way I was able to get it is I sold some gold. So I have premium status. You know, I remember I told you I spent, I got the premium thing. So I was able to sell, they give you some gold. I sold 6,000 gold. And that was able to help fund our guild and our, and my island um, to this level. I also have been pretty lucky with selling things. So let me just show you my island real quick. I'll show you what I have. I have three farms, or two farms, and then a place where I can breed animals. They, this, these are currently just whatever level one. This is a tier three cook house, a mill to make flour, a butcher to make meat, and then a saddler to make the mounts, and then an alchemy lab, which I'm not using yet because I don't have any herbs or anything. I think I have to go up one more level. And then a journeyman's house. I haven't used this yet, like I said I was going to, um, but I have been using this farm. So real quick, let's go over and check out the farm. And I'll just show you what I have going on. I started by making, oh look, congratulations, your ox is fully grown. It also has one baby. Cool, cool. Ooh, and let me see, do I have, yeah, I'm still okay. So when you breed like an ox, if it makes a baby, you get a baby, you take that, and that means, oops, I can't do it, I'm mounted. Um, so you, you take the, the baby, and then this is really nothing, so you just pick them up. And that's where you get your mount from, all right? Over here, it, it, and then I can put the baby back down to breed him again. I don't know if I'm going to breed him again. I need, I'm, I'm going to take a chance. See, it's projected offspring, offspring yield. I have an 8% chance not to get an offspring. I could nurture him, and if I nurture him, it takes up some focus. But I, I, I might save that. I, I don't know. This is the next level up. I don't want to blow up with that guy. I also have a horse going over here. Um, I don't know how he doesn't have enough food. And I have this goat who is making some milk. And these chickens are making some eggs. Now, I didn't nurture them either. So they... Oh, this one has an egg. Good. I could take the baby chick. So, like, if we look over here, the chick is fully grown, but see, it didn't grow anything. This one is fully grown. Um, he can lay eggs for us, or I can pick him up, and we get a chicken. Pick this guy up, get a chicken, right? So I come over to this guy. Um, he's fully grown, but he didn't produce anything, so I can just pick him up. And this guy did produce... I only get I only get stuff if he produces, so I have to make sure. And this person I just had make an egg, so let's go over here. Um, do we want them to make some eggs? No, I'm gonna pick him up too. Oops, I can't do it while well mounted, of course. Oops. Unmount. Pick him up. Okay. And this guy is the one that's left. Okay, cool. So let's go over here. Now I these still have some time to grow. Good. So I do a lot of carrots because they tend to give us the most. And food is weird. Like if you feed an animal, it doesn't matter what you give them. It seems just ten. So these are the cheapest. So I make them. Um, so right here I'm going to water. So right now it says I'm not going to get any seeds back from this one. But if I water it, right... So if I click on here and I water, it's going to cost me 81 focus to water. It 
watered it, and now I'm guaranteed to get 200% seeds. Okay, or the yield is is 200%, and I will already and I will get some seeds. Um, these are pretty cheap, so I don't need to do too many, but I do need the food, so I'm just going to do three here. We'll do that, and let's get back on our horse or ox, whatever. Let's go look. Did I? Earn anything else? Um, can I make anything else? There's that. Yeah. I need. So what I what my plan is is I'm going to um, just use this for like farming and all that stuff. I'm not really getting any money from this. I have. So what I've been doing is these journeymen. So my tip to you for this is, as soon as you can get to breeding the journeymen, take them to your beginning city. Um, these are selling for about 7,000 in this beginning city. They're not really selling well in this city, or in that, uh, a bigger city. So I still have three, but after, it's a long run. It's about a 15 minute run to do that. So I'm going to take this, and a journeyman fold. Do I need another one? No. And I have that. I'm not gonna do any more of those right now. But what I do need, as I need. Maybe that. I'm going to. Um, sorry, this isn't. I didn't plan on doing this right here. I just. I do need to water something here. And I'll water that. Okay. Um, I do need to. So this right here is he a adept full? That's what I wanted. I need to feed him. Oh, I went over there to get food and I didn't bring it over. And this right here is a goat making some milk. What I want to do is, and I'll show you how to place it. If you go into your inventory, you click on this, and you say place. Um, you have to walk. And I'm going to, I'll put him right here, that's fine. And then you click place, and he'll put it up there. I might do a couple more chickens just up here, because they seemed, and I guess I should actually nurture these guys because I get points if they grow, maybe. I'm just going to do two right now. These take three days. I do need to nurture him. No, I'm not going to nurture him. I'm taking a chance, right? That's what we said. So let's go. Um, let's get my food, and then I'll feed him, and then we'll, we'll get out of here. We'll go to the next place. Sorry. So far, this is longer than the video, the video that I thought I was going to make for the whole thing. That's how lame I am. So I need some food. We'll put that back. This, I, I have to bring it to the saddler and put a saddle on him to make him a rideable ox. I'm getting food. We'll take that. And we have to feed this guy. If you throw them in there, it'll only. Oops, can't do it well now. You throw it in there, it'll only take what he needs. I have enough food for 20. F oh my god, did I really just screw that up? Uh, man. Alright, that's lame. I guess you can't do that. I, I blew it. Before I was just throwing it in there and it was filling it up. Like if I come over here. Um, here's food. He has, they have no food. They're not going to grow. Throw that in there. It maxes it out. He's ready to go. So we'll nurture him. And we have to feed these guys. Boom. Max it out. Nurture. So these guys are guaranteed to give me some stuff. And this guy needs some food. I don't have enough. There's six. So he needs four more. God, that was dumb. I wasted too much. And let's nurture this guy. All right. There we go. So with this, I'm guessing I could sell these mounts for a little bit more. That'll be good. But that's not how I'm making money. Let me show you the guild, and I'll show you what we did. So when we first came over to um, this area, we are in Fort Sterling. Yeah. Oh, I'm on my island. Let me get off the island. 
Um, so when we came over to Fort Sterling, we decided that's where we're going to put the guild. And I joined um, somebody else's guild, and it was cool, but it was very expensive. It wasn't, um, it was constant. They had 35% to make something. It was costing way too much. It wasn't worth it. So me and I have a couple other buddies, um, Little Creep and uh, Five, we call this guy Five. Anyway, um, we're, we're just friends. We put this guild together ourselves. It costs a lot of money and a lot of work. So if we look at what we have, we started out with this stonemason. You need the stone to make everything else. That's the biggest grind you're going to have is stone, stone, stone. You have to grind it. So this is the first thing you're going to build. The next thing we built is we wanted to get this tool maker because that's that's what we use to make a lot of money. But the next thing we, we went with the lumber mill and the smeltery, right? And we made those. And then we have all of our main crafting things right here, right? So we have the stone, the lumber mill, the tanner, and the weaver and the smeltery. And so that's really what we wanted to get to, right? So then we can make tools. Then we went up to the forge and then the mage tower and whatever. We have space for one more thing. Not sure what we put there. And then over here, I was we put a butcher. We're going to remove that. We're not going to build that. Um, we've only got this up a little bit, not too much, but we haven't. Here again, it's only three of us grinding. Once you try to get to, try to get to level five, oh my god, it's just awful. And then it needs a lot of food, so we're hurting in the food area. But so what we do, and I'll tell you a little tip: come over here, and and. I'm going to show you right now. Let's see what sold. I have 22 things that sold at Fort Sterling. So 16 hours ago, I sold a cape for 4,000, an axe. Um, what did I sell here? A skinning knife. And there, yeah. So we sold. I sold 22 things. So these are things that I've been crafting up. Oh, look at. Seven exceptional or iron ores for 102,000. This is key right here. 102,000 for that. So you find the ores when you go out into tier three or above, and you need it for the tier three ones, you need an adept tool, and for the w tier four, you need an expert tool. I can't get tier four yet, but if you see a little blue swirly around it, that's rare. You get it. A pink swirly, that's exceptional. Those are selling for like 15000 a piece. The uncommons aren't selling now. I think I missed the boat on those. I have a lot of those. But what I'll do, so anyway, what I'll do is I'll come in here and got hours of grinding, and that's all I got. It's really tough to grind. I'm level 5. Tier 5 is in a yellow zone, or tier 5, yeah, tier 5 is in a yellow zone. They mark it as PvP, but... It's not necessarily PvP. You can get killed. I haven't been killed yet. I, I'm careful if I see somebody who's aggressive, I get out. Kind of a pansy right now. I also don't want to lose anything. You know, you work hard for what you have, so you get those jerks that go out there and whatever. I get it. It's part of the game. But, you know, it, you, but you can go in there. They can attack you. Um, but just most people just mind their business, and you can get out there and grind. It's just you get one. You know, where before I was getting three. One. God, it's just it's such a grind. Anyway, so let's let's go make a little bit of money just to show you what I do. Um, I have some of this tier three stuff. So all I'll do, and I'm just gonna make a couple capes or bags or something like that. I'm guessing I'm out of everything. Uh, no, I need to make. Let's make because I wanna. In order to be able to use an axe, God, it's a grind. I want to be able to wield. Um, see right here, I can use an adept's axe. In order to use the next level, I need to get to here, and it's a big, big grind. This is just gr grinding. I want to also be able to make it, so I have to grind a lot to get there. But let's say I want to wield this pickaxe. Where is it? Right here. I need to be have a level 10 mastery here, so I have to craft enough to get me to level 10 mastery. And man, if you don't have, like, I only have 25 points right now. I mean, I don't have enough to do it, but I can make them. I just don't have points to spend once I get these made. So we'll come down here. We're going to make some adept pickaxes, and we'll look at this right here. So you'll see what it's doing. Mm -hmm. I need some more wood. One, two. Oh, great. It doesn't have any food. 
So I can't show you. We'll we'll make one and we'll call that. But I'll show you kind of what I do. I'll have to get some food. I don't have any food over here. Lame. So I made one. Let's go to Fort Sterling. Now this place, remember we showed it before on moving day. Um, God, it's just crazy. Alright. It's just still so packed with people. So let's come in here. All these people are buying my stuff, man. So my orders, I'm, I'm trying to buy some goose pies. And I have these things for sale. Um, so there's nobody's buying my knives. I don't know. What I'll do, so I'll come in here and sell. Pick this hammer or this pickaxe. So somebody's buying this for six silver. I'm not gonna do that. That's just kind of being a troll. Um, this says the cheapest price is 1,300, right? Or about. I'm gonna come in here and put a price in. Let's just say 1,500, just to see. I'm still below the average. Um, so what I'll do is because that was lower than I normally do. Let's just go in here and buy pickaxe. Tier three. We'll just see uh, tier four. Let's see what they're selling at. So thirteen hundred seems to be there, and yeah. So if you want to sell them quick, thirteen hundred. There's a lot in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it jumps up to this. So this guy's using my trick, I guess, which is kind of the dicky thing to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's sell. And I'm gonna come in here and sell this. Because I have to make it anyway, I'm going to come in here and say 1250. Being a jerk. Confirm. And so that's in there. Um, so I'll come in here and look again. We'll see it in here as that at 1250. That's about it. I've made over the past two days about 450,000 um, gold. That's pretty good. In my book, at least. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is I'm going into the yellow zone. It's a PvP zone. Um, I'm always worried about them, but I'll show you what happens when you come in here. You're not going to get ganked right away. screen sorry about that so I come in here I have this little thing so I'm being monitored that's basically saying um, so why is this not full screen sorry okay so I'm in here I mean I'm not gonna get killed if you look down here um, there's no hostile players on right now that doesn't mean somebody can't be hostile I don't think they can attack you in here But, I don't know. I usually come right away. There's some good stuff out here. This is driver team. It's not that good. But, you know, you, you kind of venture out. There's somebody else cruising. Uh, there is another red guy out. You'll see him. He will be red when he comes out, when, he, when he's around you. This is a level five thing. Oh, oops. There's the red guy over there. So let's run. I am a pansy. Where'd he go? If you did see him over to the left, he was attacking that guy. So, yeah. Um, you can always pick up your thing, right? So, bam. So, anyway, that's what happens. I'm not going to get ganked right now. So, I'm going to go out here this episode, but I just wanted to see you a little bit about what's going on. Um, if you're interested in joining my guild, we're pretty chill. We're not psycho. We, we haven't done any big dungeons or anything like that. We haven't. We don't do PvP. We will eventually, hopefully, maybe when we come out to, like, the when it drops in July. Um, but right now, we're just trying to learn the ropes and how to make money. And, um, you know, if you're a newbie or you're into crafting and not into all the, you know, hey, you guys have to be on 
this or you have to chat with us or whatever. I mean, we do have, we can chat, we can do all that stuff, and we probably will. We've just been grinding and grinding and grinding. But if anybody wants to, to join, we are the Soda Pop Kids. Um, send me a tell. I'm the Groveler. Um, you can write Little Creep. Um, Order 66. He's total noob. Um, he's just learning the ropes. But yeah, you can um, whisper any of us if we're on. Um, all the Groveler, all one word. And anyway, we'll come in. You know, and whatever. We're pretty cheap. We charge 5% tax. And then it's, I think it's 5% to use the stuff in there. So it's not really that expensive. The other one was 35%. And the only reason we're doing that is try to recoup some more costs. So far, we're in for about 1.5 million, and that doesn't include the time. So that's the only reason we're charging a little bit. Um, and also just to make sure people, you know, stay active and whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know why, why we're charging, but um, we are. 5%, 5%. Um, anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything else you want to see us do, you know, hopefully next time we'll be up a little bit. Maybe we'll do some, we'll go fight some, some mobs or something. Uh, me and the guild guys. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya. Bye.